What's up superstars? Welcome back to another Zero to Hero artwork series. On this video, we're gonna be showing you guys a step-by-step -step process to create a softer DTF t-shirt print by not only doing a black knockout, but we're also gonna be creating half tones instead of using gradients. So here's a colorful skull image that we're gonna be using for this video. A few things to keep in mind when you're looking at this artwork, it is obviously not a transparent image and is not made to be printed on a shirt. You technically could, but it's gonna print this big black box around that and who wants that, right? It also has some gradient effects to it. So if you look closely, there's gradients and it's not ideal for DTF printing. So instead, we're gonna be making gradients into half tones so that it'll blend into the shirt very, very well. Lastly, since this is going on a black t-shirt, we decided to do a black knockout. So not only does it become more breathable, but it makes for a perfect shirt. So be sure to save this page if you guys wanna refer back to this step-by-step -step guide, but let's go ahead and get started. You also wanna make sure you're watching till the end because I'll show you how this design will look pressed onto a black t-shirt. And like always guys, make sure you guys are subscribing to the latest videos and tutorials. We're going to edit this artwork to create a black knockout effect. It has a gradient effect, and we will be adding a halftone effect as well. The first thing to ensure is a 300 dpi resolution. Let's copy the layer by clicking Ctrl J to create a backup layer that remains untouched. In case anything goes wrong, we can revert to the copied layer. Proceed to duplicate this layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Duplicate Layer. You can name it if you wish, but for now, let's continue. It will open in a new tab. The next step is to convert it to grayscale since we are creating a half-tone image. Next, go to Image Adjustments and select Levels to adjust the white slider. This part is optional for your artwork, but ensure that the light areas are the parts that won't be half-toned. Adjust it to your preference. The gray areas will be half-toned. Click OK. The next step is to go to Mode and select Bitmap, then click OK to flatten the layers. Use Halftone Screen in this stage and press OK. For halftones, you can set a frequency between 20 to 50, depending on how large you want the halftone dots. Lower frequencies result in larger dots. For this one, let's use around 35 or 40. For the angle, stick with around 22 and choose a round shape. You can choose other shapes, but halftones usually have circular shapes. Click OK. You'll see that halftones have been applied to the edges that weren't completely flat black or white. Gray areas are halftoned, recognized as gradients or less than 100% opacity. Click on the layer, make a copy, and return to the original layer. Create a mask, and then paste the halftone overlay you made earlier. Press Ctrl-D to remove the selection, and this is how the artwork will appear. If this artwork is printed on a black shirt, add a solid layer beneath it to see how it will look. You can observe that halftones have been applied as it's not 100% opacity. This technique works well for DTF prints.
It depends on the color of the shirt you intend to use, but a black knockout effect is one way to use halftones for DTF prints. It remains visible in this example, so it's up to your preference. Finally, save the artwork. And as promised, I'm going to show you guys how this print looks once it's on a shirt with the black knockout. So let's take a look at the shirt that we're going to be using first. It's going to be a Bella Canvas 3001. This is a very popular style because they have a bunch of colors, a bunch of inventory in stock. This one in particular is also 100% cotton. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down just to give you an idea of what a large fit feels like. I have the armpits, chest side to side is going to be 21 inches across. And then from the bottom to, tw bottom to top, I have about uh, 24 inches. Now the print that I'm going to be using, again, it's going to be this print. This is the original version where it's not knocked out. And if you were to place this design on the shirt, you're going to be printing this big black box, which is very excessive. First of all, it's not going to be very breathable. Second of all, this black is not going to match the tone of the black shirt. So you're going to see a contrast there. So the way to fix that was the black knockout. So this is the design that we're going to be ending up with. And I'm going to give you guys a quick measurement. The size of this transfer is going to be about 10 and a half inches wide from the furthest point to 13 and a half inches in height. So it's a fairly big print that we're going to be using. And we're, I'm going to be using this press. This is the latest heat press that we were testing out is a Viver uh, semi-automatic heat press. So this is the press that we're doing. And because um, this is only a 15 by 15 and this is already a 13 and a half, it makes it a little bit difficult to align it uh, right on the heat press. So we're going to be using an alignment tool here. And we're just going to be using about two and a half, three inches from the top, sorry. Three inches from the top, we're going to place the transfer. I'm going to fold this first so I can get a midpoint. All right. So I'm going to fold the transfer so I can get a midpoint. I want to make sure that this is right here at three inches across. This is where the neckline is. And when I move the transfer right here, it's going to be centered. And I can test with my fingers. I can use my, my pinky all the way to the side and then use my thumb to adjust if needed. But this is pretty much centered where I want it to be at. So three inches across. And then I'm dead center in the middle. And then to keep this in place, we're going to use some heat resistant tape. All right, let's go ahead and remove the transfer out of the press. So this gives me a lot more room to peel with so I can show you guys in the video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off this corner right here. So I'm gonna get ready to peel. We wanna use one hand to hold down the shirt and then the other holding the transfer and we're gonna peel. Look at that guys, very soft print. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same film. I'm gonna flip it around so that we can do that second press. Let's bring it back into the heat press.
flip this film back over here. So we're using the same film, but because this has a gradient effect to it, there is some leftover transfer pieces that did not transfer all the way through. You wanna make sure that you guys are not pressing it on the same side down because this might transfer over and it may ruin the shirt. Technically, I would advise using parchment paper at this point, but you can just go ahead and flip this around, press it, and then use your cloth, then wipe this underneath. But let's just go ahead and get this job done so I can show you guys how this looks after the second press. Also seven seconds, 300 degrees. All right, let's remove that. I'm gonna get my cloth and I'm just gonna wipe this down while it's hot. All right, let's take a look at the artwork, guys. So this is again, black knockout. It is super soft because there's no black ink here. So it's super breathable. It has these tiny lots that makes it extra breathable. The colors are very vibrant. There's no white outline, so the, the gradient effect is not affecting this since it has the half tones. And this is the original art that we had. So you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison. We're still able to knock it down and still make a high-quality t-shirt that's going to be retail quality. Now as a bonus, since you guys have watched to this point, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you press this black design onto this black shirt without any halftone effect. So I'm just going to lay this here. I'm not gonna worry too much about the alignment. I'm just gonna eyeball it. This is just a demonstration video. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that the, the transfer is completely on the shirt and there's padding underneath to support the pressure of the press. Let's go ahead and hit it again. Okay, gonna let that cool down for a minute. All right, let's go for the peel. Grab the corner. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a second press. And then I'll show you guys the contrast between the black colors. Alright guys, let's take a closer look. So this is what it looks like if you're printing this full solid black color onto the shirt. You see this black box around it? This is not ideal unless it's intended. So it looks much better guys if you guys knocked out the black. Let us know what you guys think, which one you guys think looks better. But this is how it looks with the knockout and the gradient effect. I mean, I'm sorry, knockout with the halftone effect versus gradient. And this is the full solid image without any of the artwork process done to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, smash the like button. If you guys like, uh, want to see any other videos like this, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because we'll be coming out with more artwork videos on a weekly basis.